What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donald Bradley back with y'all another video. Today we got solo level, solo leveling jumpings are insane. Yo, that is a that is an understatement. If I ever heard, well, I mean like, <laughs> yo, yo, my man, I don't have his name down yet. <laughs> Let me get that boy. He got that. There was this. Can we classify what happened to that man? Is jumping? Can like I mean like technically, yeah. But that boy got that 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 Goliath Goliath Caesar treatment. Like, yo, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't. We just we gonna let man talk about it, cause Jesus, I was over here wait. I thought that they was about to anoint him with power or something. I just, whoo! All right, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. We ain't here any further. Down three, two, one, click. So after watching episode two of Solo Leveling, I think we all can come to an agreement that this man Jin Woo. Had the team on his back. That part. The E rank. The same E rank y'all was making fun of. The same E rank y'all went to for an easy bag. This had an all star performance. But, anyways, mm. this episode kicks off right after but homeboy got eviscerated. And OG figured out if you move, you will get boomed. That's when we see that OG got his whole mm. arm snatched. And whoever is the higher being that's giving out these superpowers, I swear they purposely give the most unqualified niggas the healing powers. Like, oh God. got his whole arm took bleeding out as we speak, and Shorty's over here in the fetal position. Now, unless you're forced by law to become a hunter if you're born with these- You're a healer! <laughs> I need a healer! <laughs> Just remind me of all them damn games. Powers, Shorty should have just became a normal doctor. She would have made a bag. Then after oh God. the intro, she just a normal doctor. and is hating ass nigga. Because the first thing she does when walking into the class is ask about her brother. Then she explains how he's an E-ring hunter and I shit can like do that. that. So Shorty had no reason to mumble under her breath. Oh, I bet I can do a better job than him. Like, Sorry, salty ass bitch. What you mean? Congratulations, I guess that was uncalled for. You really? never met the nigga why he gotta catch a this. That then part cuts back to the dungeon and this dude right here simply cannot stay put for five minutes. This nigga, bro. This nigga. This man really thought he was about to just mad dash on some shit. Like, bro. I'm sorry. Do you see what we're dealing with? Nigga said don't move. You knew you couldn't clear that distance. Why are you even? All right. Minutes talking about how he's confident in his speed, and to be honest, just by looking at his fit, I should have known he was cooked. He threw on the black and red tracksuit out of every <laughs> shoe to the yeah, prom. He said, "Oh yeah, them all greens gonna hit." And with no <laughs> socks, too, yeah, with no walking. socks, bro. Yeah, I hear no socks, no ankle support, and you just about that dash, bro. You'd have came up out your shoes if you didn't come up out your feet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we could have put on, he said, oh yeah, them all greens gonna hit. And with no socks too, walking out the house like that should be a federal crime. They oh even my gave God. my boy this cool Yo. scene with the glowing eyes. About time we seen that clip in the video. That shit went crazy. When I nigga hopped over for that judge, bro, he was not playing. <laughs> Two, walking out the house like that should said, be nah, a federal F that crime. <laughs> they even gave my boy this cool scene with the glowing eyes, and I was like, hold up. He might actually do some. But when he dashed off, I knew I was just wishful thinking because uh -huh. bro didn't even make it halfway to the door. And running in a straight line, definitely, I knew I was just... Bro, oh, God, I didn't even think about that. Running in a straight line, my nigga? Like, really, though? You could've zot, zot, zot. You know what I'm saying? Something. But this part right here, though. Because bro didn't even make it halfway to the door. And Yo, my man's... I need that, sorry. But when he dashed off, I knew I was just wishful thinking. Hold on, bro, they, need, make need see, they need to see that. Way to the door. They need to see that. Look at my man's shoes. Look at my man's feet. Look at, he came clean up. Yo, bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. Sorry, that statue is disrespectful because it know exactly what it did. It's like, it's a, oh, you think you you think you hot? Like, you think you just sweet foot on it. You know what I'm saying? You think you your feet just got it like that. All right, cool. I can see that your feet. Are important to you. So being the merciful God that I am, I will spare your feet. 
board. And running in a straight line definitely didn't help. The first time the statue shot those lasers, it was a whole beam. But for you, it was a simple pop Bop. shot and it still caught your ass. Mm. So now this is the first moment when Jen started to carry the team on his back. He remembered when they first walked into the boss arena, there were three commandments posted. The first one being revered. Man God. was like, so everybody trying to do all this crazy extra powerful shit. Just use your critical thinking skills. <laughs> And got up, looked the statue dead in his eyes, and it was 1.5 seconds away from getting taken off the map. But he quickly threw his head down. That's when he figured out the first step to getting out of here was bowing your head. And that's exactly what everyone did. And this next part is when I would have lost all hope for survival. Hell nah, bro. That is not a smile out of- I'm gonna keep it a beam with y'all. When this statue smiled, every PFP, every whatever, everything I've seen, freaking even thumbnails for Nerdcore shit- hit me i said so this is that nigga i didn't know who this was i seen this picture a lot and then i found out who this and then this i was like nah 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 see we ain't and the thing is i still didn't know i didn't not, after this i did but seeing the statue's face just normal i did not know and then i seen i was like see i'm with my mans on this one like hell no bro nah now when i say hell no that doesn't mean i'm going to do shit like get up and run i'm still like for my life right now just trying to follow directions uh, but still, like the 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 the, the petrol, like there would have probably there would have probably been like some urination, maybe yeah 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 that yeah yeah I ain't gonna front. Let's go. Of happiness and joy, there's nothing but evil intentions behind those eyes. Oh God! And when you thought things were bad before, this show just went from solo leveling into Attack on Titan. Now Ta the second commandment says to praise God, and that's when this dude walked up and actually started praying. I had absolutely no hope in this actually working, but when I didn't either, but I thought that somebody might have grabbed him because like the thing it wasn't eye beaming no more so they could move obviously because he moved up i would have grabbed that dumb ass i'm like nigga what are you doing like what do you mean like stop that bro because when we bowed whatever that that when that motherfucker stopped blasting he stopped blasting when we was bowing he stopped blasting now he up he walking you tried something it didn't stop his stride at all stop what you're doing stop it stop it <laughs> When the statue stopped, I was like, oh, hold on, bro might be cooking. That's until the statue smiled even wider and had the dogs raised in the air. Now, at the this dogs. point, I'll be expecting a warning of some sort, like maybe a, hey, bro, there's a big ass foot over here. He's, you might he know move. what the hell happened. I don't know if they had beef or what, but they just let him get bodied. Then they all. That's because they was done with the damn buffoonery. All right. Niggas, you seen dude get cut in half by a statue. Uh, half your crew get eviscerated by Superman eye beams. And and then the homie tried to mash that mad dash toward the door. Only his feet survived. I'm done with the buffoonery. Everybody that want to try some stupid shit by this time can try it on their own. Fuck that. I'm not getting caught up in your bullshit. I'm not doing it. I'm going to listen to this little nigga right here because he did this. He said the bow thing. He figured that out. He talking about the kid. Hey, come on. Let's brainstorm. How we do, how we doing this? What's the, what's the move? <laughs> Like that. <laughs> All started running, but there's always that one person who immediately falls on their knees. Oh, yeah, yeah, she this got dude it, got right it. Here, he actually gaslit the leader to coming here in the first place. But now look where that foolishness got you in uh -huh. two pieces. Done gotta with. hold that L. Done now, with. this gotta is the second it. showing of Jin's All Star performance. That man figured out that the praise commandment meant needing to stand next to an instrument statue so the song can play. Unfortunately, we found out the hard way that only one person could be at the statue. So he left Shorty behind and was on the move, but that big statue was on his ass put him in a whole ragdoll animation but For he real. didn't realize he was in front of the wrong uh -huh. statue that and it got it. I don't know what these statues got and they beef with feet, but whoo! That boy got snuck. Obviously, he wasn't going to die, but the moment I saw him crawling, I knew for a fact something he lost was, something. Yeah, but you he know he lost something. making it to the statue so and big. And then, like, oh, and that scene that he was talking about, when, like this scene right here. I knew for a fact he, he lost, lost something, something mm -hmm. but he ended up And this scene right here? When it comes down, so you ain't really gonna see, it didn't show you, but like it shows him crawling, but the view that the statue is in the way of his legs, so you knew like, oh damn, yep. Bro sat back down, and I just said I know for a fact he lost something, and he for sure did. That mm -hmm. foot is gone, gone. I don't know if healers can recover full limbs or if you gotta be an S rank for that, but Shorty didn't have enough mana to even try. For but now real. this bitch boy right here is really trying to blame OG for everything that happened. Like, did you forget he was the one who wanted to leave in the first place? You was the one for who real. gaslit him into deciding by vote. Not gonna lie, OG. I mean, but at the same time, you gotta, like, OG, like, he cool, I gotta feel you, but he the leader. And by, by that, I don't mean that dude should be doing the BS to that guy. 
I'm talking about he shouldn't have gone in there. He should have slapped that nigga and said, this is not a democracy. This is the United States of my team, nigga. And I said, we leaving. <laughs> like, that's what he should have did. <laughs> a bigger man than me let that bitch boy try to put the blame on me that backhand's getting thrown with swiftness but anyways this is when the final phase begins with the last commandment being prove your faith now i'm pretty sure everyone can figure out what that means somebody gotta go and here we go again with bitch boy chamber. acting up at this point i want him to get done in the worst way possible oh, so God. when og entered a circle and a single fire lit up i was like damn Everybody got to participate. Oh, and also, we found out that if they <laughs> don't complete this dungeon, then these statues will be able to roam freely in the real world. So oh, when yeah, because if it's not like if you, don't, if you don't get it by a certain amount of time, they just come out and just start, you know what I mean? But hopefully at that point, people will actually be able to do something since you got all your people there, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, y'all your turf now, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's like... It'd be like a, a, a DC boss battle. You know, just just buildings, all that. Just collateral damage out the ass. All right, yeah. The circle, the door opened, but the statue started moving again. But no need to worry, Jane came through with his high IQ play. He realized all you gotta do is play red light, green light, and wait for the timer to run out. Mm. And to be honest, these two had one job. All you gotta do is look at a statue. But at the same time, I can't say I would've done any different. The yeah. rate at which I stayed- I, I feel it, cause you said, alright, everybody gotta look at a statue and they don't move. I'd have really, honestly, I'd have just been like, alright, everybody, pick a statue, look at that pitch. And let's move our way toward the door. Slowly. Keep your eyes on the statue. We had enough people to look at statues and enough people to look at the dough. Everybody looking at the statue, grab somebody that's... Everybody that is looking at the statue, grab somebody that's walking toward the dough so they can guide your ass out this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they had options, but okay. It depends on how much I fuck with you. If I never dapped you up a day in my life, not gonna lie, me and Shorty what? ran out the same time. But now, if one more person <laughs> dips, I will leave them with a blind spot. And honestly, I had no faith in bitch boy staying. I knew that nigga no was gonna leave. And at this point, they were hold. There wasn't enough people to fill the blind spots. But OG was like, nah, I'll stay while you two leave. You got a long life to live. And I said, wow. OG, mm. you was a real one. Real. But this ain't gonna last long. Just show me how your plan gonna mess up. Tell Dude. me how Shorty is somehow useful and useless at the same, same time. time. Her legs gave out gone. at the worst possible moment. It couldn't give out during that downtime we had earlier. It just <laughs> had to give out now. So that's She's when Jen had to make the executive decision and stay back himself. But before they that's left, he, he had to secure footless. the bag. He said, <laughs> He was footloose. <laughs> Sorry. Here, I said I'd take you out, so go buy yourself some dinner. OG then knocks her out and they both leave the Hit her with that future Gohan. You know, remember when Trunks wanted to go fight with future Gohan? Like, is when Gohan died, so he really, 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 really should have brought Trunks with him. Uh, just hit him with that bow. You know what I'm saying? Just not night. I got you. Don't trip. <laughs> and now it's only one. But at least he can go out holding a real weapon and not that weak ass knife. Boy. It was Weave that shit, but bro got bro ragged all again. Oh my then god, dude came Dog. behind and he tried to parry, but that shit did not end too. Like, what are you like? Of course it didn't work, bro. You're trying to parry a whole ass statue, my nigga. Like, oh my god. Well, and they didn't even show us what's going on here. All we uh -huh. know is that he's getting absolutely d bullied right now. And after all that splattered, I don't know how this man is still, still alive. in one piece. Even his fit is still intact. For real, I thought we. You know what? I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that to censorship. Because I know you anime only is probably like, mm. sorry, you uh, you manga readers are like, mm. look at some of them panels, find yourself something out for real. You know what I'm saying? Because ain't no way they swung them swords like that, homie is still in one piece. So I could only imagine what that must have looked like in a manga panel. You know what I'm saying? And if it was just this in a manga panel, then I'd be very disappointed. But how that should move and how, you know how anime censors some stuff, I that mean, the manga, the manga panels got to, this boy must have been, huh? all right. But getting jumped by a 50 foot giant is crazy work. Could even give my boy the chance to scream. But this is when uh. I feel like his whole way of thinking was changing. He was like the selfish ones just <laughs> who benefit the most. I got a family mm. too. Why does yours matter more than Yo, mine? Yo, he went in on it in his head. He was like, I'm so tired of this. I want this. I need to do that. Why the selfish ones? Them niggas just ran. I was like, yeah, boy. <laughs> then they lifted my boy with the spear and dropped him on the altar. Listen, nigga, I got jumped in LA. By some pussy ass nigga and <laughs> jumped me nigga nobody gave me the faith of a one-on-one -on -one, nigga nobody gave me the respect of a one-on-one -on -one. and this is when the solo leveling starts Yo, this episode uh, was way better than the first one, but so far so good. It's just they love editing these episodes on these damn cliffhangers. See, they got to, bro. Gotta keep you interested, yo. 
That was dope. We watched that dope shit here. Definitely factual statements, bro. Factual statements all the way through. Um, yeah, man. I want to see what's going to happen next. Like, the, the, the power... Because he said the solo leveling starts now. I don't know if if my man's, like, knows more about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, manga-wise and things like that. But, whoo! That boy got towed up. Held the whole team on his back. And ended up having to take one for the team. But now we're going to see how we get... At some point, the get back got to start. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's, it's setting this up. You, you need to feel like this now so you can feel better later. I get it. I get it. But I want to see what that is. But that's a take. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there social media. And I'll catch y'all next one, fam. Peace. Peace.